So the reason why all of our tax dollars are in Ukraine is because Ukraine is a deep state proxy controlled by the ruling families of the DNC and Soros. They are trying to protect their assets, secrets in Ukraine, most consequential of which is their biological activity. Uh, this particular tweet in its entirety is speculation. This tweet is, 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 it's not even inference. It's just speculation. This is a, this is a pretty big jump. And listen, when I'm analyzing this, I'm being extremely clinical. You know, you know me, you know my analysis, you know that I'm a natural born skeptic. And then on top of it being a natural skeptic, I have seen the abuse of government that has been levied against me and my family and you and your families and our communities and our children, how government has been harnessed to abuse us based on our political and religious views. Um, you know I believe that most of the institutions in our nation have been captured by Marxist ideology. So far be it from me to be a skeptic when someone suggests that there is corruption begot of, of government bureaucrats. At the same time, it's necessary and prudent and honest to analyze what is fact and what is inference in a thread like this because, especially because when there is speculation, um, it needs to be verified. Otherwise, the claim is not, is not a report. The claim is an opinion or the claim is, well, a theory. It's not actually, it's not actually fact. It's not actually, this is what's happening. It's, is this? What's happening and how do we figure out if that is the case? Um, so this particular tweet is speculation. He then goes on to say, the reason the US mainstream media went all out pro-Ukraine is because the media is owned by the pharma companies via advertisement money. The pharma companies who rely on the bio labs in Ukraine to create pathogens so their vaccine scheme can profit. The only part of that um, particular tweet that's verifiably true is that the media is owned by pharma companies via advertisement money. That is simply a fact. That is true. Um, almost any, almost any media that you can think of. Um, but the rest is speculation. The pharma companies rely on bio labs in Ukraine to create pathogens so their vaccine scheme can profit. That is, that is, that is pure speculation. That's inference. He goes on to say the reason the FBI and the DHS went full Orwell and weaponized big tech to censor all reporting on the bio labs in Ukraine is because the intel community is compromised by the deep state. The deep state who can't let people find out about their pathogen production scheme. Again, the beginning of that tweet, 100% accurate. Intel community is in fact compromised by the deep state, but is the deep state um, an active participant in producing pathogens? Show me the proof. If you show me the proof, I'm happy to, I'm happy to buy into this. And um, I found this, I find this thread to be very interesting, but there are some things that are, that are speculation and that are, have not been, um, that have not been confirmed. And we're going to talk about where those, those speculations, that inference, the allegations come from in, in just a second. Let me just finish these last couple tweets. He says, the reason the House Democrats and the DNC went insane and impeached Trump over making a single phone call to Zelensky in Ukraine is because they couldn't allow Trump to stoop around and investigate their deep state proxy. Trump was on to whatever they were hiding, AKA bioweapons. So again, all of that tweet is, is true until the last little bit. Not that it's not true, but it's, it's speculation. It's not verifiable fact. The rest of it's true. Um, then he says, the reason Zelensky ordered the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense to destroy all state documents affiliated with US biolab companies, Metabiota and Battelle, the day the missiles started flying is because he knew Putin was looking for the bioweapons. Yeah, that's probably true. Uh, he said the reason the WHO advised Ukraine to destroy all their pathogens at the labs that the mainstream media said didn't exist is because the WHO knew Putin was looking for the bioweapons, the same WHO that created a global medical police state due to COVID-19. All that's true. As you can see, there's a lot of good stuff in this thread. Um, he then goes on to say, Big Pharma, the mainstream media, Big Tech, the intelligence community, Zelensky, the World Health Organization, the NIH, and deep state politicians are all working together to accomplish the same goal, to cover up the criminal biological weapons production in Ukraine, all the entities who happened to benefit from COVID-19. Now that's the culmination of his speculation. It's true that many of these entities profited or benefited, at least ideologically, maybe with power, from COVID-19 and how governments handled COVID-19. Um, but his, his full allegation is that Ukraine is actually producing pathogens that they intentionally release around the world with, and pharma's in full knowledge of this so that they can preemptively create um, therapeutics or vaccines to profit off of this. 
He, he concludes by saying, this is why these entities are hyper-defensive about all things related to COVID-19, biological research and Ukraine. It's not because they're being, um, it's not because, it's because, or it's because he says we are close to the proof of their crimes against humanity for which the punishment is harsh. So his conclusion is opinion. Now, if this is an editorial, if this is, if this is an op-ed, that's fine. This is, this is, this is a theory that he's proposing. If he's proposing this as fact, then my analysis of this is, this is very interesting. I retweeted this on Twitter because I thought people would be interested in it. It's plausible. It's not, it's not implausible, but it leaves many questions that need to be answered.